Um, again, I think they're going to go hard on these people. Okay. Chat, which I've been waiting for. Drake through OVO Sound, which is his label. They just randomly today put out um, a link that said 100 gigs. And it said at Drake. Now, we got to find out a few things, including that Drake has a Finsta that currently is actually even public. But first and foremost, let me click on this thing, and then we're going to go through it a bit. It's a lot of shit to go through. Uh, also, we get to find out that his Finsta, which this is... Let's look at Drake's Finsta. His Finsta is called Plot Twist with four T's and five T's. Okay. P L O T T T. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's it. Nope. Got it wrong. This is one, two, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six. It's six. Plot. Yeah, there's one more T. There we go. All right. So this is apparently Drake's Finsta. Which, you know, obviously, you know, Kendrick has a Finsta. Kendrick Finsta. Which, by the way, you know, a Finsta supposedly is is like a private Instagram. I think his is like Jojo Ruski or some shit like that. Jojo Ruski. However, I, I, I think for these artists... When they want to communicate with, you know, they want to have a burner that they could post stuff because I think there is a there is an idea of you getting too big pause that everything you post is going to just be taken too out of context. And oftentimes these entertainers are trying to find a way to communicate with their core super fan supporters and like a fence that kind of becomes that, right? So, uh, yeah, Kendrick got one. It, Drake seemingly has now allowed uh, people to know his. And there's a bunch of information on here. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But what was more intriguing was the fact that this leaked or this got uploaded, I guess. So it's called 100 Gigs for Your Head Top. And we get a few things. First of all, we get some new music, apparently three new songs. We get a bunch of like, you know, um, pictures of Air Drake, some tour content. And I'm going to be honest with you. I was a little bit surprised by this because I think a lot of this could be used for a documentary. We see how well Taylor Swift documentary ends up doing. Taylor Swift documentary like motherfucking went and was in movie theaters. We see uh, Beyonce do these documentaries. We see a lot of artists. Uh, I think even Little Baby had a, a, one of these documentaries that popped up on like Hulu or Netflix or whatever. I'm surprised that. I didn't know Drake was capturing some of this um, content, but I'm surprised he just uploads it. But now, with him uploading it, you know what it tells me? This is a strategic move, if you ask me, by Drake. As people try to continue the hate train or the, oh, we're going to be critical of everything he does, or some people are trying to say Drake is over, this was a great move by Drake to remind y'all all how much y'all motherfucking love him. Right. Here's here's why I say this. You know, even if you want to say Drake lost the battle between him and Kendrick, Drake has been given so many priceless moments over the years, been the most consistent, given so many great songs that. I think he believes that if, if there is any hate is is temporary, but to try to subside some of the hate, what he's doing is like, yo, remember all these great songs I gave y'all? The way to bring it back, let me show you the behind the scenes of what it took for me to make it. And I think I think this was an amazing move to get people to be like, oh, wow, this is crazy. Okay, so so let's go through it all. Let's start out with the songs, all right? Now, one of these songs, I believe this is a song I played during the intro, but, but this has Thug on it, and I think has 21. Um, again, there's a lot to go through, so th I'm not going to lie. This is probably going to be the rest of the stream, and I know there was supposed to be mad topics. So let's listen to some of the music and uh, let's keep going through it.
I ain't gonna hold you. 21 going crazy. Oh, I, I Now, hey, uh, listen, I, I am here, and I, again, I, I, I want to also announce, uh, I talked to I talk to 21's uh, people. Actually, I, I talked to 21's manager. Shout out to me, Z. Um, 21 is not dissing Kendrick, okay? He's not dissing Kendrick. Actually, actually let me read what he said. I think people are assuming, because there's a line in there. There's a line in there where he says, Niggas make a couple songs and he think he hot now or something like that. Let me see. Drake is up, Lurks. All right. I think it says, uh, oh, yeah. Made a couple songs. Think he hot now. Hit his ass up. He think he pac now. No, no, no. That is not at Kendrick Lamar at all. I don't even read what my nigga Measy said. <laughs> Measy said, Measy said. Measy was just like, <laughs> Measy was like, yo, that is definitely, by the way, this is 21 Mans, right? He said, yo, that is definitely ain't no shot at Kendrick. And he literally said, that shit would make no sense because Kendrick got more than a, one hit or whatever, or a couple songs. Like, he got a, got a bunch of songs that are popping. So, it's not him. All right? So, we could quiet that down. Kendrick didn't, uh, I mean, 21 did not diss um, Kendrick. And by the way, I didn't. I should have asked him when this was recorded. I don't know when these songs were recorded. I think most of these songs might have been recorded before the battle, to be honest. I know people want to think when you hear it now, it was recorded last night. These songs are probably old, right? I could imagine this song was maybe up for consideration to be on Thug's project. You get what I'm saying? Because, again, Thug's in jail. He can't record nothing new. He he wanted Drake. I think Drake had given one or two songs. This probably was one of the songs. By the way, here's another thing too. I do think Drake putting this out at this, this time is also a little bit trolling, because then Kendrick say you run to Atlanta when you need a trick. <laughs> yo, yo, he's showing you, nigga. I'm tapped in with Atlanta, nigga. I'm here with King Slum and I'm here with Twenty One. What's popping? So I, I I think I think Drake's also being a little petty too. Drake, which which I like that. You know I see a lot of people on social media, especially fans. They try to they try to troll Drake or they try to troll about Drake because Drake's not seeing it. They try to troll about Drake with anything he does. They try to put a Kendrick lyric to it, and I always thought I'm like, damn. Hopefully he doesn't be like, oh damn, Kendrick said I do this, so let me not do this no more. Nah, who gives a fuck? You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, who gives a fuck what that hater said? That's just what it is. Like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, with, with all due respect, Kendrick was just a big-ass hater. You know what I mean? Like, we could say the battle went whatever way, but the nigga was just hating on a lot of things that we actually like as fans. Like, if you sit here and say you don't like when Drake rap over Atlanta beats, well, you don't get, you don't get Versace. You don't get, like, a shit ton of records. So, like, let's just kind of, let's bring it back in. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. My, my mouth made a cup of... Just make his ass hot round blush. Yo, it says modified today. It might have been. Oh, my God. Y'all niggas with the stupidity. It says modified today. It could have been uh, uh, Noel, who's the engineer, doing a final mix of it to put in this shit. 
Like, why do you think it was recorded today? Yo, 21 is on a whole tour. 21's on tour. Drake's at the fucking crib. And Young Thug's in jail. Why would you think this shit's recorded today? Like, come on, we got to use our brains here, people. Modify today don't mean, like, also, do you think that Drake would, you know, if he had this record and was so confident about it, nigga, he'd just drop it normally. Shit, ain't no way to stop now. Going live to get your ass popped. Make him a long live. Frank, I agree with you. I do think Drake sees everything. I'm, I'm not saying when I say Drake don't see stuff, it's like put it like this. If I log into my main Twitter account, bro, my mention is just filled with fans of either Drake or Kendrick just twisting everything in the world to their narrative. I don't think Drake is looking at that. Is Drake looking at the people he don't like? Yup. Is he looking at, like, maybe media personalities? Yup. Is he looking at what fans are, like, bickering over stands? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Like, and no disrespect to y'all, but, like, like I, you know why I think he's not looking at that? Because I don't look at it. <laughs> like, I open up my mentions, and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, it's just exhausting. Okay, okay, bet, bet. All right, so we listen to this. Apparently, there's two more other songs. Um, let's listen. By the way, I know y'all seen this like whole date modified shit. I should download them, man. Eh? Should I download them? No, I think the site gonna stay up. I know y'all seen modified, but bro, like the, these are actually master songs. Date modified means the file was modified. Okay. Hey. All right. Oh, nah, Drizzy back in that bag. This is why y'all can't kill the gold. Yo, if y'all hating on him rapping, he gonna go to R&B. Y'all hate on him doing that, he gonna go to some dance or shit. Y'all hate on him doing that, he's over here doing some Afro beats. You can't stop the goat. Sorry. I know some of y'all are mad. Bruv, he about to deliver a classical party next door. He about to have all the bitches wet until motherfucking Christmas. Then he about to drop some rap tracks dissing everybody again. <laughs> That's how it gonna be. Y'all gotta get over it. Y'all can't get rid of the goat. I'm sorry. I yo, I apologize. Your favorite artist ain't that versatile. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, we need this way back. Yeah, yeah. Hey. 
Na. Hold up. Talk about it. Yup. Yup. I'm sorry that y'all favorite rapper only give y'all songs to Crip Walk. Y'all on Google like how to Crip Walk. Listen, my favorite rapper gonna get us in the Jamaican bag. The girls got to wine. You know what I mean? Like, come on, we gonna get some pasta pasta vibes in here. Shout out to my Africans. We gonna keep it Caribbean. We taking it to the islands. I'm sorry. I don't want to be moving robotic and Crip Walking like a motherfucker. I'm sorry. Sometimes I just want to keep it cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though. I love y'all in the West, but still. <laughs> How many summers did I run like 10? I gotta show up in London when I run up in London. Yo, I just be pausing it to the fuck with Kendrick fans. They be mad. They be like, Ugh! but he's not rapping. He's not rapping. So? <laughs> so? <laughs> That's the thing. Your favorite rapper could do one thing. My favorite rapper do 10. I'm sorry. Right now, vibes. Where did where vibes? Man, we make y'all come again, come again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie, Jerry might recorded this one not too long. He said they, they make lyrics for the men. We make we make lyrics for the bitches. <laughs> hey, I fuck with this Drake Pivot right now. By the way, he gonna drop the songs. He gonna drop songs this and all y'all niggas. He gonna out rap all y'all niggas. He gonna drop the hottest rap songs. But right now we on vibes. I know you're mad. You just want him to go away. Yo, I see some clowns on Twitter. I got to address y'all. Oh, my God. Why don't Drake just go away? Let us miss him. Fuck out of here, nigga. What do you look like, Kendrick? Hell out of here. Nigga, you know, the only place he going to is the charts and the bank. Fuck is you talking about? He should just he should just go away. Let, let us mix, miss him. Like, nigga, get out of here, nigga. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm, I'm fucking with this. Insta download, yeah. Okay, Insta download for this one. All right, bet, 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 bet. And then this one. Play something. I see I want to hear. 
something sweet, something uplifting. Something sweet and uplifting, huh? Yeah. Play something inspiring. Hey, what's up, Pete? Honey, BPM bomb. Hey. What genre? That, that that's not like really Jersey Club, but it's kind of upbeat. Mm, that, that's not like that's not bounce music, is it? Is that New Orleans? Hey, I'm sorry, y'all nigga don't got that much range. All he could do is make, he could sound like Easy e and it sound like you're from the Bay. I don't, that's your problem. Nigga, right now, we knew, I think we know all these with it. Is that Florida shit? See, that's, we all over the place. Oh, nah. Yeah. Oh, I'm rocking with this, too. Oh, Is that Lotto? It's like I'm it's like I'm getting a whiff of the twerk when I, she's rapping. Hey, I like, I like, I think these, these are three good tracks. Um, I'm, I'm still going that they're, yeah, they're new in the sense that we ain't never hear them before, but I don't think this is like, this is Drake throwing out a three pack, but do I like all three tracks? I think the track with him, 21 and Thugger is hard. I like the vibe of, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Drake got to bring back the vibes, man. He got to bring back that era and housekeeping. I like when he tap into that, those local scenes. Cause he always like, he brings more to those type of bops. Anyway, W for all three of them. Um, again, I know I, I seen some people already saying that, yo, hey, don't you think this is making it worse? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Uh, what's the dirt? What's popping, my boy? What's the dirt? What's the dirt's in here? Uh, yo, my G, did you not drop the family? The family matters joint yet, bro? What's going on with you, gang? <laughs> uh, I seen somebody says, 
Drake drops 100 gigabytes because he he don't need it anymore. He's on weed work mode and everything going to be new. Kenny's back hibernating. Yeah, bro. I, I, listen, for the people who, and let me talk to y'all. For the people who keep saying, there's a few people I see in the chat. Yo, uh, Drake's just making it worse for himself. Yo, he's just not. My brother, if y'all think Drake has something to prove to y'all because you may have thought he lost a rap battle, you're just not a Drake fan, my nigga. Like, you're just not a Drake fan. Like, if we look at the moments in time of Drake dropping music, battles and beef have been this slither in time. Whether it's him with Common, Pusha T, Meek Mill, or anybody else, it's been this amount. Like, y'all want him to completely live in the moment of battling and beefing? No. Now, some of y'all want him to just go away that people could miss him. Why? When he has a whole R&B audience, he should be satisfying. He makes records like this that maybe not the most rap-induced type records, but he does this. It's not something he's trying to do now. He does. Like, I'm convinced the people that say that, oh, Drake's making it worse for himself. Wait, by dropping music? He's always dropped music frequently. You just want him to go away. There's a lot of people who are who are masking their supposed support for Drake, but in reality, it's um, it's really they just want to see him lose. Like again, why shouldn't he drop three songs? Why shouldn't he do a feature? Now, granted, I do think a certain type of record. And that type of energy around the battle, he should chill off with. Also, I don't necessarily, like, I mean, I have opinions on that too. And hopefully I don't sound hypocritical because I do have certain opinions. Like, I, I don't think, I don't want to hear him with Camila Cabello, right? But hearing him getting back into his groove, I think that's like a W. I'm sorry. You get what I'm saying? Now, granted, I think he's doing it in an interesting way because I believe the same people who'd be like, Drake, you should just go away for like a year. They want to hate on him. And Drake's finding a way where he's like, yo, and, and, and I really respect this. Bro, Drake, Drake is a guy who has a $400 million contract. Do you know how stupid it actually is for him to give out free music? It's stupid. But this is the essential, this is kind of like what's been a part of hip hop for years. This is like a mixtape for him. He realized, okay, certain people are doubting me the same third. All right, cool. I'm going to give y'all some free content. It might take a little while for him to drop another track officially. But, and, and, and this is the thing with the people who hate on him, like, oh, this just shows you he's dumb. What do you want a nigga to do, die? <laughs> I like what he's doing. He's do, using different methods to still give music and try to almost get it back to his season where he's, like, con completely controlling the mood and the wave of music. He's trying with the with the R and B uh, R and B record, right? That's coming up with him and Party. He's trying with you know the Atlanta sound and record. Y'all want that? Yo, he's trying with the motherfucking um dance soul kind of African record. Then he's trying with this almost like you know um regional sounding record. I like it. I'm sorry, right? And it just shows me that the guy who's the biggest in the game understands a little bit about culture in the fact that right now, if Drake dropped these as a three-pack, we all know they would probably all be top 10, right? These are would be top 10 records. He could be bragging about numbers again. Yo, I'm back on the charts. One, two, three. But that's not what he needs right now. What he needs is for the people to fuck with him and, and be reminded of how much he's given to them and this is a great move i'm sorry this is a great move like bruh the biggest artist in the game just gave y'all three free tracks you know how i know it's free because i could play it on stream okay anyway let's get on to this oh what is this soda now some of these are videos hold on is there audio like this what is this?
Now, another reason I like this release is that I've been one of the people who said, I want to see Drake in a studio. I want to see Drake working. I've always thought that, you know, obviously he tried to make up for it with Behind Bars, um, Behind Bars Freestyle. Um, he had another like Fire in the Booth Freestyle. He had um, obviously On the Radar Freestyle where we're seeing him freestyle. But a lot of people looked at him when he went to do the Flex thing, which was early in his career. And they'd be like, nah, this guy, this guy might not really, really be no rapper like that. Like looking like this wasn't the best show. And, and I've always said, I think Drake has improved a lot, like a lot since he first came out to now. And what, what he should do is show people. He should show people like, yo, nigga, this is how I get down in the studio with some of these songs you love the most. And I'm like, yo, I would love to see him in the making process of doing certain records. And we never really saw that. And this is what we're seeing now. So I really respect it. Okay. Let me see if I can find some. So these are just random videos. Now keep in mind it says modify, but but, but here Drake don't got braids. This is what I was trying to tell y'all. These records might not be new. This says modify seven oh three, which is July third. Drake don't have braids in this video. You know what I'm saying? This got to be like maybe around the time when he was working with Future shit. This on fire. fire that's fire okay okay let, let's keep this is like the archive of like behind the scenes shit hey by the way I, this is why this is good this helps cements his artistry you're, you're seeing him work you're seeing him in the booth i'm telling you Fade to black for Jay-Z, watching Jay-Z just, Jay-Z hear the beat, and you just see the mind churn, and you see him kind of, he trying to come up, you see him and Kanye bounce up, music is on the morning, that's when they're cooking up Lucifer and shit. Bro, you want to see your favorite musicians, how they lock in, and I think we've, we've missed that from Drake, we haven't seen it, and this is the first time we're able to see it. We've seen it with, yo, Kanye is like the, the epitome of this, right? How many times have we seen a video like this? Kanye listened to music on plane, and he's just going, look, 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 look at Kanye. Look at this nigga Kanye. Look, look. You're approved to, like, 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 come on. Like, we want to see that. We want to see, like, how does this great shit keep getting made, right? We want to be in the kitchen a little bit. This is him listening to, he's listening to March 14th, I believe. That's when, that's on the song where he announces that he has a kid. So this is Scorpion era. This is 2018 almost. Mm, okay, okay, all right. We get a little glimpses. Now, there's gonna be some more where he's recording shit too, so don't you worry. We can yeah. just, you can, we, we don't even have to listen as long as you, like. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, that's literally what we've been doing. Okay. Like, this time. Yeah. Now, I, I've, I've been so fascinated with this process. Like, I think this is 40 here. We're turning down the Ty Dolla Sign. And, and one, of the, one of the reasons of how, like, Drake has done s such great music is that 
he's one of the people who locked in with the producer that created a sound. And 40 is like, you know, 40 deserves so much credit for making what we thought was Drake's sound with Take Care. Obviously, there's other people that assisted, but 40 is that person too. Like, like I remember he would talk about how he would layer these like, um, uh, what do we call it again? Like these pads of, of like, you would almost hear like these, almost like, like, and that was as Drake would go into these riffs and, and like, you know, kind of almost transition it up to the point where like when it gets to, if you're reading this is too late, he's literally like, he, I won't say he started it, but Drake would have two songs in one, right? Where he almost switches, but it, it fades into the next song seamlessly. And it feels like it's the same song, right? Like, uh, like zero to one hundred is mixed with catch up, right? Same shit you did. Yep. Turn down the ad lib. Montage. Greg, you have a want to give him a run? Oh, this, this, all right. This is about um. Th so this is in twenty eighteen then. Is soda? Is that mean scorpion? All of this looks like it's from twenty eighteen. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, this makes sense. This is 18. Yeah, 18. I'm, I'm now learning how to read the, the time code on it. 18, June 28th. So 2018, June 28th. You're going to see everything that's in this in this mix as 18. By the way, when did when did Pusha T drop? Um, Pusha T, this is Drake. Date. What, what date was it? The fuse started back then. Okay, 2018 is when it got kicked off. May 2018, May 2018, so May 2018. So we're listening, we're watching videos of Drake two months out of this feud with Pusha T. He pushed his album back, and now he's cooking up all these records. One is March 14th, and another is, you know, obviously gets mob ties and all that type of stuff, and, and he's going through the process of just coming off of a battle. He just came off of a battle, and he got to lock in and make a great piece of work that he already promised. Turn down sort of what we've done over the last couple hours, maybe, notes wise? Yeah, so survival, turn down the bell, we got the drums back in the outro. Yeah. Uh, take Keith, uh, we got the missing ad lib in there. Mm hmm. Mariah, we. We're. we're uh, brought the vocals up a bit more clarity. I'm oh, Mariah. Yeah. That's not that many. Oh, okay. Almost. Uh, 8 out of 10, we got the original true sample back in there. Yeah. Mob ties, the ad libs were too loud, so they're going to be brought down. They've been brought down already. Okay, okay. cool. Uh, can't take a joke. Felt like the bass was slowing it down. Yeah, it's got to be a bit more good. Yeah, so we got that. Beautiful. Uh, Sanders Rose, we're just getting. Um, we just oh, need to mix on that one. Mm -hmm. DJ Paul, we're eating on Jay. Uh, is there more? Bring the bass down. Okay, so, so they're going over notes. To kind of perfect the album, right? Waiting on Petrov mix. Uh, J to J was too hot. Yeah, we did that one. And then we got the ad lib. Ty's ad lib, we got that down. So, cool. Uh, finesse, Wait, we removed this? James's ad lib. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Just okay. that one. Yeah. Waiting on birthday mix. Yep. That's how you feel. We're good. Lieutenant, we replaced that one. Future yeah. Ad -lib. Oh, yeah, that's the one I should probably hear. Real one. Okay, okay. By the way, uh, uh, this is Noel right here. So this is the engineer that 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 masters everything. So this is Noel. This is Forty. Don't know who this guy is. It, it, it's not Oliver, is it? No, it's not. Who's yeah, that? That's how you feel. Okay. Um. Cool. Somebody said the third video. What, what's the third video? Is it this? So this video would be 620. Let's see. All right, right. Oh, here we go. So this is this is a month after the beef of Pusha T. Does Drake look stressed or not? Nah? What do you about to record?
ten of us, we move in as one. Okay. I promise you he's gonna rap at some point. <laughs> uh did I play this? Oh. Okay, okay. Anyway. Let's look at some Okay. Good. So let's look at uh this. Okay, they're just, they're just going over the album, I guess. Here's a longer video. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, what's this? <clears throat> yeah. Look, hit him up, then I scut a dog. Just to fit that house, man, I had to cop a feel like to the dog. Voila. Back when the money meter sounded like na na na. <laughs> hey, hey. Let me hear. Yeah, yeah. It's like watching Michael Jordan practice. It's like watching Michael Jordan practice right here. Yeah. Let me take it again. <clears throat> Hit him up, then I scut a da. Just to, just to fit that house, man. I him up, then I... Nah, just to fit that house, man. I had to cop a feel like. Sounded like na na na. Sometimes I said, oh shit, fine, venison. Uh, she could get venison, frightening. Oh, that's fine. a joint different for Kanye. Yeah, he did that joint for Kanye. Let me see. Let me there's, there's a couple more. Oh, that does this here uh That's yours? Uh -huh. Oh, this is Ratchet Happy Birthday. This is my joint. It's your birthday. Yeah. But it's also your It's also louder everywhere else, too. I'm glad they kept the party ad libs on this. So, a party next door is ad libs on this. Great show. Yeah, see, look at this album. Just get the mask on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> But it's gonna get like mastered into something that oh, yeah. sounds really good now, you know? Oh, yeah. Whereas before it sounded like fucked up, you yeah, know? It's, it's gonna be amazing. So I'm glad we kind of saved it because I was gonna stress the fuck up. Wow. That's some fire shit. All right, let me see what else. Uh, did we play this already? Let's see this. We can yeah. just, you can, we, we don't even have to listen as long as you, like. Yeah. Yeah. That's not that. Oh. Okay, okay, all right, bet. So we kind of played all those. There, there's another um one here. What the fuck is this? So this is during Scorpion. I guess he's recording all this shit in Miami. Yeah, Drake got to go back to Miami, man. Miami was giving that nigga the vibes. Okay, all right. All right, this is just, this is just the storm. Okay, what's 40 keys? Now, this... What date is this? I can't really figure out the date. The date is... Or the... um. Okay, let me just listen. What's 
song is that? And now we do a bunch of types of rap, a bunch of types of R&B, and a bunch of types of pop. So it's like it's just more addition to his sort of palette and what he does musically, I think. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that neg negates like the space for me or what I do or bring to the table for him or, you know, like at all. And I think like the, t the kind of music that we make together is pretty special and unique. So it's like, I think there'll always be a space for that, you know? intertwined with his working with relationships. His working relationships. Of course, which is why I have a hard time talking about one and not the other. I mean, everybody around him are, to say friends is an understatement. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it, it really is family in a way that I think other people can think they relate to, but to really be in this, I think, is, is something else. And I mean, everybody around him has a, has a role that they play. So they are under his employ, but at the same time, I mean, these are his best friends. And so like, I, I, you know, I don't know what the question is. I think it's more just like thinking about like- well, Cases like I do so, right? Because I'm in a position to at all times. So I think that's fun as we know it right now, as terrible as that is. Mm. Uh, but if Biden wins, then Trump has six weeks to get out of there. All right, so, so this is a lot of uh, 40 kind of doing his thing. Probably on the keys. Big radio hits. That's, it will be a lot of people's favorite song on the album. It's that good. It reminds me of like Player's Anthem. What was he? What, what and it's still yet to be seen, what that record is. So this is before Scorpion. What happens to it in his journey, but... I told him my read was it will be a lot of people's favorite song on the album. It's that good. It reminds me of like Player's Anthem with Outkast and shit and Bun B and, and, uh, and Pimp. Like that song and that feel good moment and how incredible it was and how much everyone loved it. And like, so to me, it's like a lot of people's favorite song. Like, oh man, that song's so good. I love it. I told him, What's your favorite song off this new uh, CLB? Oh, it's that's my favorite song. Sure. But I don't think it has as strong as a chorus. Uh, it has a strong hook. Baby shit is a strong hook. But I don't think it has as strong of a chorus as say like Hold On We're Going Home or Controla or One Dance or Hotline Bling or God's Plan or like he's got big, big radio hits. No, this looks like he's before CLB, never mind. That sit at the top of the chart for an extended period of time. I don't necessarily believe Laugh Now Cry Later is gonna sit at the top of the chart for an extended period of time. Oh, you saw my Laugh Now Cry Later with that had Dirk on it. Time. I might sit there for five weeks plus. But that, I'd be surprised if anything longer. I'd be surprised even at that. I think it might be up there for a few weeks to number one. Are you fucking crazy? You know how long it took us to get a number one in this business? That's no fucking joke. Mm -hmm. I'm not downplaying having a number one in the goddamn bill. Now, I'm, I'm going to skip, respectfully, I'm going to skip past 40's part, even though I, I think 40 is, um, <clears throat> is a great music mind, and I love hearing him speak. You know, I've, I've had the privilege to speak to him once or twice. Um, but I know most of y'all care just about Drake. <laughs> Let's go to some of the Drake shit. What's this? Six. Um... Oh, these these are old footage right here. I guess this is when he used to record back then. I don't know what year this is. Bam. In the day type shit. Holy shit. Oh. My bad. Here we go. I'm trying to look at the bigger videos. Wow. 
don't work for it. Not what you gonna get. Whole sick, that the bird on the neck. Look like a lot of these are from um what what he recorded in Toronto. It's caliente. Somebody said this is not what I expected. What do y'all think I expected? Like these are like random videos. Imagine if somebody just had like a camera around any artist. Like it's again, he didn't he didn't um put this as a documentary. He just ran <laughs> random shit. Oh, this is OVO Fest. Why is this four kids? The pressure, I always wanted you to be proud of. I was sitting outside the old Four Seasons Hotel. I always wanted to impress you. I always wanted you to be proud of me. I always wanted to live up to all the things that we've learned from you. I came on, uh, on your tour bus. You gave me $30,000 that I was able to bring home to my mother. And that changed the next like six months for us. I promise you there is nobody else on planet Earth like this man. He brought us here together. It's an incredible night to celebrate you. I would do anything for you. I'd lay anybody down for you. I love you. I will go to the end of the Earth for this man. You changed my fucking life and you changed this city forever. So make some fucking noise for the greatest rapper of all time. With Drake, that nigga's always very gracious. Okay, what y'all want to see? We got Abbey Road. I think that's that's another studio type type situation. Let's see. Hey, could y'all tell me exactly where he's like rapping? Yo, this is like a strip club, Area Twenty Nine. I don't know if I could. Hold on, let me let me take this off screen real quick. <laughs> I gotta take this shit off screen just to see what I I can show. Area Twenty Nine is like a strippy, I think. Oh, ladies, three oh five. What? Yo, I see why they say no more not like us in goddamn uh, Houston. Yo, Drake feeding these chicks like it's goddamn them little starving kids in, in Ethiopia, my nigga. Look, look how Drake got these hoes. Oh, this is this is Drake's left pocket that's feeding all of these homeless women. Oh, ladies. Y'all gonna be counting this motherfucker though. How much what what time you leaving out of here? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 305, what? Damn. How much money do you think he threw that night? Let me see what else. Uh, trying to find some interesting shit. What you want to eat tonight? Oh, hell no. No shipless. No shipless tonight. I'm not trying to show. And we got money. Vicky I love that nigga Drake out there, man. Drake got a Barbados house? Chat, I'm just clicking around. I really don't know, like, where to go. 
this is a lot of shit. It's 100 gigs. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of these videos are kind of pointless. But, um, oh, let's go to Hotline Bling. Ooh, there's some shit from Her Loss. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Boy Wonder first. Boy wanted the, the, most of the biggest Drake hit songs. I heard the one with you and Rima, huh? Yeah, yeah. Bro, the oh fact that the song Mark, Mark played that, that, that's, that's amazing. That, that I've been trying to get, I want to hook with that too. I thought you said the song crazy. called Texaco Green. Yo, niggas just said that. I didn't even sound like that. Texaco Green. That's how I That's how I love it. Texaco Green. I was like, okay, uh, maybe I don't know what that is. Lilia Barber, gas station. Yeah, the money he made from gas stations. Texaco Green. This one with Rima. Karma, right? <laughs> I was walking down the road to find a look of a Bahamian girl. Alright, right, this might be some good drops right here. This might be some good drops. It's a wonder again. Oh, this is a making beats. Let me go to, I'm trying to find the biggest files. Scroll back or like, yo, people are like, fuck out. There's no chance, though. So. I just sent it just in case, like, you like, just end the live. One day, like, you're just like, fuck. I want to just sit and like, vibe yeah. out some shit. Yeah. Wait, who's from the What beat is this? Like, open it up, like, on some, like, this is what I'm doing, and then you're like, nah, I'm like, fuck yeah, that. Yeah. This is who I'm going, like, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. You, like, Just chop not. Yo, you need like a, a tour guide for this whole thing. Because there's so many great songs. Let's see this. Yeah, this is... A lot of this is Scorpion era Drake heart <laughs> heart shaved in the head Drake pause. this is cool though we just hear drake with the hits we don't know like the beats he turns down the ideas he tries that he's like nah fuck that like we, we don't know the like a lot of artists we know we don't know the records that they never put out or like the times that they're spending in the studio just maybe not necessarily coming up with hits but they're trying to take you get what i'm saying See what else? All right, this is from her loss. Let's see. Let's see if we can find some good shit here. Gotta find some good shit with her loss, right? Yeah. I see this thing go. Yeah, I be getting bored. You know? All right, nothing there. Yeah, chat. It's it's hard to find like some good shit in here. 
There's no curation of it. Oh, this is when Drake and um um Savage did the fake tiny desk thing. They got sued for this, by the way. No, no, actually not for this. They got sued for the um the fake time cover. Okay. Did I play this yet or no? What's this? Okay. Come around now. Slow it down just for Oh, it's a Vogue cover. Thank you for that. Is this this middle of the ocean, ain't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, long way from sentimental meet Tomazo and Ernesto. Short rigged Tony with the besto. Long way from sentimental. Long, long way from sentimental. Meet Tomazo and Ernesto. Short yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Come on, huh? This is what we want to see. Yeah, what is the Vava? Let me Google it. Drake, middle of a 8.5, what? A $8.5 billion yacht. Er, uh, owned by Sus Italian billionaire Ernesto. Does this have some of that? No. I want to see a little bit more of that shit. I'm trying. I'm just trying to see him rap. Actually, there's other shit. I'm like. I, I want to see him record it, bitch. I ain't even gonna lie to you. And I don't know if you want to talk about the. I don't know if you want me to drop the p word, but or, you know, like just you know, Poland is like such a. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, Poland is such a like it's P-word. such a great, it's such an incredibly frustrating song for any other artist because nobody's that free of a thinker. So ultimately, you end up being like, damn, why didn't I think of that? Or whatever it is, why didn't I, like, get that high? Why aren't I that, like, why aren't I that artistically free? Yeah. Whatever it was, you, you start you start convincing yourself that he, mu- you, oh, he must have been high as fuck when he made that. Maybe not, though. Yeah. That's what people say. Yeah, they, oh, he must have been twisted when he made that. But I'm around him every night. I've never seen him, like, out of body type yeah. shit. So, well, yes, I have. You've done, like, acid and shit. But he's not just doing no, but yeah, it's just like I think it's I think he's just broken through something where he's just um trying shit and none of it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's the yeah. best. That's yeah. the best. That's the best. Damn, he's pretty much giving Yachty all the praise for for the artistry of like songs like Poland and being free. That's like way I could describe it. It's yeah. just like, you know, it, it's the exact moment that Wayne did I feel like dying. Do you know what song that is? Before the song. Yeah. There's a little Wayne song Damn, called. I- he, he compares it to Wayne doing I Feel Like Dying. Wow. So yeah. this is the music video that I think announced the, the album date. Yeah, I think that announced the album. Jaden Mitchell. Oh, 
This is a that's a ball for you. I'm just clicking through here, chat, trying to find some good shit. And I don't know if you want to talk about the. I don't know if you want oh, to. Oh, I thought th th we already played that. Let's see this. Oh, we played that. Already. Did I forget to scroll down? What about this? Battery, you just put. I swear I'm driving, nobody can do it. And then you guys are hanging out now. Okay, he's just doing music video shit. Okay, let's see the honestly never mind vibes. You probably got some good shit in here. Maybe him and Gordo? get some emotions out you know well like the worst part is noel's the resident dj so he had to dj the championship party i really respect you yeah. playing that song bro you hear me <laughs> that has to dj yeah, the championship party uh, okay that's that's gordo with uh drake doing honesty never mind your name sounds great keeper sounds incredible i'm so happy with that too because it's like really true to what it always was but it's better yes, and grew yes, and is yes, mixed yes. and 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 damn yeah you see how 40 is age since 18 so 2018 where he's doing the key stuff for for obviously scorpion he got the beard but there's no gray hair now he's like grayed up this is obviously like 2023 has a proper vocal and you know it's like fuck it's like yes so or, or it was 2022 or 2023 one of them current sounds great i think i think it's, I, I really like the way it sounds text go green <coughs> is still the mastered ref yeah so that's the one mastered reference mm. and yeah. falling back i'm really really happy with that because it's like a proper full mix with the same bottom end as everything else but it's still really true to your ref so if you want to go back and forth on falling back about the ref or that, like maybe, sure. But like the thing is that the mix right now, if you look at it against the rest of the album and then look at your ref against the rest of the album, you'll go with that mix any day because they damn near sound identical, you know? So it's like... We, falling we, back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They sound, it sounds really good. And when you put it up on a system now, it's going to fucking boom. Yeah, when perfect. it plays in the stadium, it's going to hit properly. Mm -hmm. You know, like all of that shit. So like I think you have the right choice. Yo, 40 gets... Like, I feel like he, he got to get more credit. Like this thing is literally... When we talk about the music side of Drake, like it's 40, my nigga. These conversations are interesting now. I'm I'm just clicking through here, people. I'm just trying to get some some of the interesting shit. Okay. Isn't sticky on this? So it looks like they're kind of having like a meeting where they're like kind of talking about how the songs are mixed, um, what version they're gonna probably go with at the end. I'm not trying to hear sticky. Okay, there's oh, they were still working that other record at that time. All right. Anyway, here's some hotline bling footage. That, that it can't go. It has to go into the verse with like the bounce. You yeah. Know? That could only mean one thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, most of these are him vibing out to the records, not necessarily recording. Well, let's play another one. Maybe this is him recording. It's a longer record. Oh, this is, oh, this is on the setup highlight blitz. Okay, they have like a party at the music video shoot. Where's the really good shit? I'm trying, Chad. I'm, I'm trying to find some shit. Oh, this is the, the music video. A lot of this is the video. I'm trying. I'm trying to see the nigga record, bro. What? Show them. Show them. Show them. Oh, this is now him looking at the video. Yeah. But there's no narrative, you know. There's no lead. There's no nothing. So. Yeah, it's just this call center thing, and then. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Theo? Like, just like. I, I think that you got the idea of a narrative in your mind, and so you're trying to work it in, but nobody will miss it. Nobody knows it's. Yeah. Right. But how do you just feel about the random but call I, so I like it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, I like that a lot. Um, so all that's left for me at the end is just, like, this sort of exhilarating, like, dance, you know, dance. I'm going to sort of... Okay, that, that's, this is showing Drake is doing some, at least, directing in terms of his videos. He's bringing his vision out. How he wrote the song, he's bringing it to life in the video, clearly. Extend the song. And Which, by the way, I think it's one of his most viewed videos of all time. Two billion views on YouTube. And try and make this crazy dance montage at the end of this video, you know? Way now you've revealed, you've revealed so many sets in the within the first verse. I just think we need to like save, save, save moments. And I think that like this, this performance to me, I love like the silhouette. I love the like body movement, the attitude and shit. It has energy. The stairs is like the stairs to me is me sitting down. It only works when I'm like talking. I just don't see that starting the song. There's no energy to the stairs because I'm sitting down, you know? So it's like, for me, this is like already like, okay, Drake's like in this shit. This is like a really good performance, you know? That That's that's my reasoning. I just think the stairs is boring, especially off the rip. I don't think, I, I understand the magnitude of it and like people being like, oh, wow, look at the set. But you got to captivate people on some like, yo, this guy's on a fucking wave right now, you know? And like, this shot to me just has some dance moves that are like, okay, he's like in it. So that's my, that's, that's my. Okay. Uh, sort of get the recording of it. I think there's one where he's talking about, you should have put future on it. No. It. Let me go up a little bit. So there's one where he's literally talking about, maybe you should have put future on the shit. This shit is like, <laughs> this shit's 
I used to like, okay, so we used to be in bed together, right? And we just finished fucking and her phone would be blowing up. So I saved her name in my phone as Hotline Bling. Wow. That's always been her name on my phone. And I was looking at it today, I was like, Oh, this is like a real story about Hotline Bling? Wait, hold on, let me run it back. I was just like, fuck, fuck. You know? And then this shit is like, <laughs> this shit, I used to like, okay, so we used to be in bed together, right? And we just finished fucking and her phone would be blowing up. So I saved her name in my phone as Hotline Bling. Wow. That's always been her name on my phone. And I was looking at it today, I was like, Hotline Bling is a sick name. Like, yeah. that should be my artist name. Yeah. But, it's, <laughs> but, it's, but it's not, so I was just like... Damn, Drake changes his name to Hotline Bling. <laughs> I was like, well, if I had a dance hall name, like, if I just a dance hall artist, yeah. I'd be Hotline Bling, you know? Yeah. But, like, I saw that shit, and I was like, man, that's such a good... And I was talking to her today, I'm like, yo, your name, your nickname is such a good title. For like something, you know? And then I just told her today, I was like, yo, I did a song Hotline Bling. That's crazy. Yo, if I'm that girl, I'm tight. You made a song that probably made tens of millions of dollars and I don't get no none of the money? Drake probably threw some change, right? Like Drake seemed like he's a cool guy like that, right? You know when that Yeah, I, th I think it's this th it's this part where he was talking about putting future on it, I guess. After he vibes out. Right, right. This definitely like single though, no? Yeah. Like, Hundred percent. Like this is like the first thing I want to hear on the record <laughs> this summer. Like you know, I don't yeah. care when it drops. This summer, like this has to drop before end of summer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is on views, right? Like, what's good? Are you like, are you guys crazy? What do you mean? We're in Yod with the shit. Just like, uh, <laughs> Hotline Blink. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, that's far. All right. Um, there's some other videos of like the video being made, but but uh, let's kind of go through a little bit more. Non-stop in color. Um, six man. Is this him recording six man in the studio? Hey, I go up. <laughs> <laughs> well, was in the dark? I'm going through. I'm trying to get some, some good footage.
Is this, oh, this is, if you're reading this, not, it's, it's in too late. Ah, uh, this fire. Yo, 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 if you a Drake fan, how, how much would you give for Drake to go back to this vibe, bro? Mm, oh, fire. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, we could watch every one of these. <laughs> I was going to ask Morgan what he thinks it is. No, you know what? I thought it was shit, so it's like, is that a problem? Like, are we gonna, like, is radio gonna be like, or iTunes gonna be like, yo, we're not taking this and it's- Here we go, what are they talking about? Okay, but do you think it's shit, or do you think it's shit? Yourself, you know how that should go? Right? You oh, what songs? You know how that should go. 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 Right? What do you think he's saying there? What do you think he's saying there? Yeah, like, what are the lyrics? You know how that shit goes. Okay, but do you think it's shit, or do you think it's shit? And do you think there's a problem there, because we all think it's shit, but Drake just told me, like, nah, it's should. You know, you know how that should go. Oh, what? And I was like, oh, because I'm sitting here cleaning out, like, a hundred shits on this record. And he's like, nah, it's should. But like we all thought it was shit, so it's like, is that a problem? Like, are we gonna like, is radio gonna be like, or iTunes gonna be like, yo, we're not taking this as clean? Like, you gotta clean this because we think you say shit, even though you say should. Oh, know yourself. No, it's should. S H O U L D. What do they have it as on here? Know yourself lyrics. It kind of sounds like he says shit. You know how that shit go, right? Oh yeah. Even on even on Genius, it says you know how that shit goes. I guess we're having a conversation back then on should they take it out for the clean <laughs> He's version. Like, yeah, yeah, you gotta take that out. Really. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. We'll clean the word should. Why? <laughs> Is that We're just... asking the wrong guy, man. We're asking a father of a 10-year-old child. He's like, dude, my son's going to be in a car. He's just citing that lyric. Like, yeah, yeah you're right, man. Okay. Yeah, you know how that should go. Say it. You, you can... have to explain. Say it, though. You know how that should go. Yeah, you know how that should go. Say it in that case. I, I think this is Oliver back here. Hey, you go. know how that should go. You know how that should go. It's a tough one, bro. I'm not, I know it's not a tough one. I do better. Yeah, I missed a, I missed a heavy curse on Truffle Butter. Morgan's like, you missed, you missed a real heavy one on Truffle Butter, that's for sure. I'm like, what? Is it? He's like, we should just fuck each other. That's on the clean version. Really? <laughs> Oh, they're talking to Mr. Morgan. Okay. Yo, I slip up sometimes in high pressure situations. I'm trying to do clean. <laughs> oh, we did. I'm giving rowdy. All right, so anyway, so what do we do, man? Do we have to really take out the word should? Or do we just stand behind, like, yo, it should? You know how that should go? Yeah. You but gotta... when you try and sing the song, it doesn't. it's always going to yeah. sound like shit. You know how that should go? There's nothing you can do. I know, but it's like, I'm not trying to say shit. It just ends up being that way when you put the cadence on. Let's just ride for it, man. Get rowdy, rowdy right now. You know how that should go. S H O U L D. My <laughs> boy getting rowdy. Nah, Drake, nah, Drake was Drake was on a vibe right here, bro. I kid you not, he was on a vibe.
I know that they got me. Remember how I went to Louis V with hat? Watch us spread ten thousand dollars on the oh, nah. beyond. Now we in the basement. Now I didn't even know I could oh, scroll. Yeah, like you gotta listen to it, like, yeah. What's this? Is this preach? Wait. Where's preach at? So the shit is frightening. Yeah. Oh, no. I I'm with Drake, man. Fuck all these niggas, man. Fuck all these damn niggas, man. Get Quinn Miller back with Drake. They speed it. Alright, hold on. Let me keep going on. I'm not talking right Where's Preach at? I think I'm old. Hello. Did I go No. All right, all right, okay, okay. Um, studio. Got a studio right in my yard. Let me see what's this. Oh, okay. Let's find the interesting shit. I watch him go through a lot of yeah. shit. Oh no, it's perfect. I just gotta like. It's crazy because I know, like, like. I need to speak for Ali on that one, you know. Yeah. So it's a tough verse to write because it's I like know. the man. Me and him went through a lot of shit. This album, this album release. You know what I'm saying? Not this release, but like while we were working on the just album. Just through the cycle. I watched him go through a lot of. It is such a tricky beat, yeah. and he caught some of the best. You know, it's like fuck, like. Okay, okay, okay. Um, videos of videos. Jumbotron shit popping. This is, I guess, the video behind the scenes, probably. This is 34 minutes. This is how Drake previews a lot of his music. He'll be in a club. And he'll have like his guys DJing and just like ring off like a song and just kind of watch the crowd type shit. Oh, they ring off sticky. Uh huh. I'm sorry. 
respect. This is like a comedian kind of like testing out his jokes in like, you know, these underground little small comedy clubs. And then they bring the same jokes after they refine it and tweak it. And they bring it to, to you know, like Madison Square Garden or like a way bigger venue. Oh, Drake just sitting in the, in the back like some, some mob boss just kind of watching the crowd like. Then he's about to ring off um, Jumbotron shit. This is more millions, right? Wait, is that what I think it is? That's not sense over there, is it? Play some Yachty. This shit really is a cargo jet, my nigga. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, bet. That was fire. Let's see this. This is from 2023, January. <laughs> Is that him and Mike Tyson? Just... 